This inclusion letter is very unlike an any other. As we are joined today by Nishi, who is one of our transformation fellows, who is the first individual to get the work started in Indigo via the recent program of ours. With us, we have Dr. Samin Mishra, Director of Inclusion and Advocacy, Vandita Ma'am, Assistant Director of Partnership and Outreach at CDF. I'm really thankful to everyone for joining in today. And now I would request Nishi to introduce herself to everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Nishi and uh, my pronouncers are he, him. Uh, I'm a lesbian from Lucknow and uh, right now I'm working with Indigo. Okay. Uh, so thank you so much Nishi for introducing yourself and you're also mentioning your pronouns. Moving ahead, Nishi, I just quickly, you know, let's start with the whole inclusion at that. I would like to ask you the first and foremost, you know, the question that you came us into our minds is that, you know, did you have people with you, like, you know, parents, teachers, friends, sort of, you know, whom you were able to express your feelings when you identified with your real, real self in the initial stage? Ah, uh, yes, I do. Okay, so how uh, about that experiences? Can you share? Uh, I first came out to my friend and that was like unexpected from her. Okay. And she supported me. Glad to hear that. Really glad to hear that. So, uh, what was, you know, like particularly your age, like you mentioned, you know, uh, in our previous conversation with Vandita Ma'am as well, that you were able to understand at the age of 14 that you, uh, about yeah, your age. Yeah, I was like in class uh, 7th or 8th when I realized that uh, I belong to LGBT community. But uh, as we say, uh, I didn't have enough knowledge and it took me some time to accept myself. Definitely understandable. So, how was, you know, your journey towards exploring yourself? Like, uh, there was, I, again, you know, there are multiple stages if we have to very much generalize it, you know, first exploration mm -hmm. and before that or after that in some cases, denial and all of this also there in many cases. So, like, how was your insight to it? Yeah, it uh, at first it was I was in denial stage, but uh, eventually I learned, and somewhere uh, I was proud to accept who uh, who I am. I'm really happy about that. And uh, when was the you know first time you came out of the closet and could speak up to the family particularly? Uh, I'm still closeted to the family right now. Okay, <laughs> but, okay, I'm sorry. It's only to the family, I'm out to the world. <laughs> Very much understandable in that sense. So, you know, how do you sort of, because again, there must be some weird feelings and, you know, mixed emotions towards that feeling of uh, being unknown to your family in the real self of you, but being open and, you know, just Google and local about your whole real self towards the whole world rather. So how do you feel about that and, you know, how actually you deal with that, that is it. Sometimes it's suffocating, sometimes I'm like, I just want to tell them. Okay. So, I do manage, but I'm ready to tell them right now. Um, like, it won't take much time. I'm ready to tell them. I was waiting for financial stability and uh, right now I can say I am. I'm really glad to hear that. I hope that it goes well. So, you know, like, let us just uh, know about your new job with Indigo and how, you know, the environment is over there. Because, you know, honestly, most of us over here are very much unaware of the whole thing that you are having right now. So, can you like, explain us in detail, like, how is it going? So, from the starting, uh, basically in career point of view, I'll say, uh, in India, the like, people are not very much welcoming about LGBT. So, uh, somewhere in Indigo, I found people like, uh, they do mix up and they don't judge you. People come to me, ask me questions and I'm all, I always say that whatever type of question it is, weirdest to weirdest, just come to me and ask. Right. So, like there are people who come to me asking questions and all who want to know Definitely. And, uh, you know, how was your experience uh, while the whole training process and how, you know, the CDF itself was able to help you in any sense possible out there? Uh, Vandita Mom knows well. <laughs> first, uh, like, on the very first day I had some problems, but uh, 
somewhere they solved it okay okay so i'll i'll try to you know uh, shift to vandana ma'am and uh, take her into a spotlight for a moment so uh, ma'am it's okay with you to share so uh, so i was i was saying that uh, you know we we started talking about 6 7 months back and yeah ma'am yes that's how we started knowing each other uh, I think from the first time I can recall our one of our first interaction I had this very strong feeling this you know uh, Nishi I still is, remember that conversation Yes Nishi is so rightly prepared and uh, you know we just have to put the spark and things will happen on its own and that actually happened uh, another thing which you also don't know and I would like to tell you in front of everybody uh, Uh, you know, a lot of people still they praise you a lot in Indigo, and after your uh, interview process, which was you know which happened, they came back and they were so happy that you you know brought us such a good person and uh, want to give you more and more opportunity. And especially one rightly uh, thing which you brought up is that Indigo is very welcoming, and that's what you know they felt that working with us. Uh, it will give them more opportunity to let the world know that it is very normal and more people should get an opportunity to work and have a very good life yeah so, i just hijacked your point i was really hoping no sam yeah please if you have any question yes ma'am i'll go ahead so first of all ma'am i will have a question from you also you know uh, because we we as an inclusion team have seen you you know uh, having a conversation with nishi especially you know supporting him in every uh, sense possible in every way possible out there so how was you know your initial feeling towards it that okay because at the end as you also shared with me you know there were calls at late nights at any given time there were you know training uh, you know training requirements from your end as well so how was you know how was your experience towards that any hiring process this was completely a, a normal process you know you undergo a lot of screening and there are certain set of uh, policies which you need to abide to there are certain do's and don'ts which every company has and like in any person who's joining an organization is ought to know so it's a very normal process and <clears throat> i think uh, with support of uh, cdf transformation team and the uh, we have adopted a way and we want to carry this and give as much of leverage to as many people possible today to come come to us learn the process and should be able to i i we would love to see everybody getting placed but right. but you know learning the process eventually is going to help people when when they sit for a final interview rounds and that does help so it was not an easy ride uh, not just with nishi with lot of people uh, we had an interview uh, but i think uh, what is again need of the art today is not from the process it is a person's will if you have thought of it that if you have a uh, you know a point to make in life things do happen and everything gets placed there Thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing that. And I really appreciate what you said. So, uh, moving ahead, I'll again have Nishi with us in the spotlight. So, Nishi, uh, as you said, you know there that you had conversations with the staff over there, and very much wholesome and you know inclusive and diverse. That's really, that's really actually a wholesome thing to understand with. So, you know, could you just share with you know us with two to three experiences of yours, you know, for the questions that were asked during the interview process, and to even on the ground when you are doing the job as well, like what sort of questions people ask you, and you know how how was your reaction towards it? So, like we we love to know that as well. Uh, basically, like for the interview round, there are normal questions like. first of all they'll ask you for the introduction to know what your like how's your pronunciation how is your fluency so there are very basic things for freshers and 
as as my experience i don't have any experience in uh, aviation sector i don't know anything about aviation sector before this but uh, it was easy to answer their questions they were very normal questions okay and like how is there you know, as i said that there are people over there you know who ask you certain questions that comes up to you asking things taking doubts you know so how is it like can yeah, you just give us some examples if i can say uh like there are people who come to me asking what's your pronunciation and uh there are some people who are like what is tomboy what is this what is that coming with some uh, words and asking me the meanings to explain and i just say them whatever the question is whatever word you find just let me know <laughs> don't keep any doubt i am here to answer any question right i really appreciate that and i think we all do definitely agree on that so since nishi you know today you are at the line right sort of question is there with you know within all of us right now so uh, the question is that can you like share any piece of advices to just continue on you know just go ahead and grab whatever is yours grab that opportunity and uh, you know sort of an advice for the for first every one of us this present over here and every person out there from especially from the lgbtqi plus community who is you know striving for a particular job or particular opportunity that they believe it's theirs i think i'll complete it in two words just uh, make your will strong <laughs> that is enough Agree, totally agree. And what about you know? Okay, I have this one interesting question. So, as far as we all know that whenever LGBTQI plus community and people from the community go outside and prove their representation and you know work and generalize the whole uh, community and its existence, there is always some people, some uh, hurdles which comes in their ways. in the form of hate right it can be direct it can be vocal it can be in many aspects there is many aspects to it so how what what's the suggestion to deal with that if that makes sense basically uh, many a times i face this but i just react like they are uneducated <laughs> they need some education and that is it <laughs> just educate them then and there <laughs> that is my motto Totally agree. I totally agree on that. So centralize them. Right. So moving ahead, uh, one I'll uh, put the frame to Anita Ma'am again. Ma'am, do you like have any advices for you know, Nishi in for her new for his new future and so uh, anything else that you would like to add? I think uh, she. Uh, sorry, uh, Nishi does not require any advices. very mature person to her age i would say very hard to find such people so keep up your uh, work keep doing the good work and good luck and me just by my side one thing always remember your team is always going to be here for any kind of support you require from us i that i know ma'am blind faith on you yes always we are always there any time of the day we are always there okay uh really glad to hear that thank you so much for the ma'am for sharing the words in the meantime uh, from the whole audience of ours from the whole team of ours do we have any you know questions or any anything that they would like to bring up over here answer um sonali ma'am any one of you who want to hi nidhi uh Anand here. Just wanted to know what inspires you. What's your inspiration? I don't know. I just, I just, I really don't know what is, what is it, what it is. I just go ahead. I know what I look up to. I just need a good life, and basically, I want to create it for others also. of my community people thank you for the inspiration for yourself 
I actually believe so too because you know, as we can clearly see, Rishi is like something, you know, someone who is just all ready to work and you know, very much focused and looking up again, as Rishi said, for the community. So definitely I'll agree with Anand sir that I believe that you are your own inspiration and I'm really happy to see that and notice that. Um, moving ahead, so Nali ma'am, do you have anything to say for us or Rishi? Yeah, I, I don't have any questions, but I really love this conversation. It was such a good conversation, an open conversation. I love the space. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, good luck, uh, Nishi, for, for your future and, you know, with your journey with Indigo. And, uh, yeah, I mean, so happy that the fellow, this fellowship is helping, uh, you know, youth out there. So, I, I mean, I just love the conversation, love being a part of it. Thank you so much for the invite. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So, um, lastly, uh, thank you so much, Nishi, for joining us over here. And uh, from the whole team of CBF itself, uh, from every vertical, to be very honest, I would just like to you know address and say this, that uh, for at least this moment and this whole day, first of all, our whole day is made by talking to you because for us, genuinely, and, and I mean it when I say this, it's like an inspiration and not solely an inspiration, but also, you know, for us, you also have just given us this inspiration that every individual can do and every individual does carry the will to do. It's just a mere push. For example, as you clearly notice the support that you got from Vadita Maam on a personal level and from the team itself. So, I guess uh, that push is there with all of us and it's somewhere there with us in every time and everywhere possible. And uh, I'm really, really, really proud of you and really congratulate you for the job that you're doing right now. And thank you so much for, you know, just being there with us today and sharing your experiences and words with us. So thank you for that. And I really congratulate you again from the whole team itself. Thank you for having me. So much, Nishi. Okay, um, I think uh, it's wrap it up for today. I would I would really really appreciate everyone. Uh, I really appreciate everyone for joining in today and having discussed the whole journey of history with us today. I am glad that you all joined and thank you so much for joining in today. And yeah, let's call it off. Thank you everyone. Thank you.